Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to make a quick and easy cranberry sauce that's going to leave everybody talking about you after Thanksgiving dinner. I mean in a good way. So don't you guys worry. So I'm going to run down everything that I have here that is set for this quick and easy recipe and then we'll get started. So I have one cinnamon stick, a 12 ounce bag of cranberries, orange juice, water, brown sugar, light brown sugar, and white granulated sugar. Let's get to the stove and get started. So guys, to a medium saucepan, you want to add your water, orange juice, and both sugars. Until, now you just want to stir this over a medium heat until the sugars are dissolved and let it come to a slight boil before adding the cranberries. While occasionally stirring, you just want to add your cinnamon stick to that and let that come to a boil before adding your cranberries all right so our sugar water and orange juice has come to a boil now we're going to add our rinsed cranberries we're going to let this come to a boil until they start to pop and then we will reduce the heat to a low medium and let them simmer until this gets a little thick and then we're going to let it cool but i'll show you guys every step of the way so for now i'm going to cover this and let it come to a boil and then we'll reduce the heat just like i mentioned all right, our cranberries have come to a boil. Now it's time for me to reduce the heat and let it come to a simmer. It's been about 15 minutes. Ooh wee. Look at that, look at that. Doesn't that look good, guys? Oh my God. It's gonna look even better after it chills and it thickens up even more and get a little jelly-like. Oh man, look at that. Mmm. So now what you want to do is remove the cinnamon stick because that doesn't have a purpose anymore, but it definitely gave tons of flavor. Wow, guys, this smells so good. Our cranberry sauce has cooled down enough. So now I'm going to place this into a couple of mason jars and let it cool completely in the refrigerator for about two hours. Then it will definitely have more body to it and then it'll be ready to eat. So here's the mason jar that I will be using. I have one more. I wanna make sure that everything's gonna fit in there. I would pour it, but I don't want to waste any of it. So I'm gonna take my time and get it into this mason jar. Okay, that's one jar down. And guys, let me tell you, adding that cinnamon stick, oh my God, it's definitely a game changer. You guys are gonna love that. Okay, so here's our finished product before I place it in the refrigerator. Got about a jar and three fourths of a jar. And trust me guys, you're gonna love this recipe. So I'm gonna place it in the refrigerator for a couple of hours to let it gel up. And I'll show you exactly what it looks like after. All right, guys, so that cranberry sauce is done, and this is what we have. Doesn't that look good? Make sure you guys follow this recipe and bring this to your table at Thanksgiving. Trust me, once you make it this way, you will never make it another way. Let me show y'all what I did with mine. I paired it up with some homemade cornbread dressing. Guys, that recipe will be in the description below. And here you have it. Homemade cranberry sauce that you will never make any other way.